Hi, thank you for showing your interest towards Colorless. We're very happy to have you here. So on the right side, you see a button. I want this. That's going to help you buy the Colorless page. At checkout, you can enter our discount code EBGOS, an early bird offer for the first 30 customers. You don't have to tip because we take tips only after the work is done. All right, so you've successfully purchased Colorless right now. Copy the license key and then go to Colorless onboarding link. Now paste your license key and activate the product. Now let's get to the important part. Give us all the juicy details about your goal. Be as specific as possible so that the AI can do a better job of designing the tasks for you. Hit on connect to Notion. Now we have the Notion authentication flow. On the top right, you may select your Notion workspace, have a quick view at the permissions asked and hit next. Use the template provided by the developer. We are setting up your template along with the data from the AI. This is going to take a while. Be strapped in. Looks like we are done. Let's head out to Notion to check out the new template. Find the GoLoS template from your sidebar. And it should look at something like this. Okay, firstly, let's just lock in the goal and the time frame. On the right side, you see the databases. Let's head over to faces to see the different faces which has been created along with all the tasks. Let's go check out the tasks database now. This contains all the tasks which has been created for you. And finally, we will head back to the objectives database. Objectives are the smallest item you'll have to focus on. So let's start by putting dates for all the objectives. I would suggest to go through all the objectives and then figure out when you can potentially complete them. You can also refer the pre-given timelines. You can find the priority, phases, and all the other details of an objective. Let's see how we can add a new one. At the end, you can hit the new button and type in your objective that you want to add. Move across all the way and uh, in the last section, you will be able to add this objective under a predefined task. And that task already has its own phase. If you want to add it into a new phase or a new task, you'll have to go to the respective database and create something new. Let's give it a date and we're good to go. Now let's take a look at side quests. These tasks don't directly impact your goal, but they help you increase your skill. Finally, we have the skills database. This is the huge set of skills which you will be needing or which you'll gain after the project. We are back to the dashboard. Scroll down on the left side, you see faces. All the images are AI generated. If you click on any face, you'll be able to see the tasks and objectives that are part of it. Now at the center, you have the Kanban board or the task board. It is showing a huge number of tasks at this point. So let's go ahead and just filter out from the phase one. On the top right, you have filter and select research and planning. That's going to show us the objectives present in phase one or research and planning phase. You can drag and drop one of the cards into the done stack or the in progress stack. On the right side, we have a chart. It's not visible because I got upgrade my plan. The next view we have are the filtered tables. Just like how we did at the top, you can filter this table on the basis of face and by task. Hit the filter button and you can select one or more tasks to get a cumulative view. Play around with these tables and you can find the best view which works for you and increases your productivity. Moving on on the right side, we have the productive playlist from Spotify. You can always swap it out for something which you prefer. On the left side, we have the skills view 
and that is going to show you all the skills. If you click on any of the skills, you'll be able to see the associated side quests. You can also open the side quest and you can also use Notion's built-in AI to help you teach or learn more stuff about a specific skill. Let's dive in, how can I improve this skill? Well, that looks detailed and complicated. Let's close that for now. We've also got the calendar view and the timeline view. You can also sync your Notion calendars with your Google Calendar and see your tasks appear there. That's it, we're pretty much done. This template is completely modular, so go wild and don't forget to achieve them dreams.